Hi, if you like the video, please remember to subscribe. Hi, I'm Rob from RobNonPhoto.com and in today's little video I thought I'd share with you uh, how I edit and improve, is that the correct word, the audio that I use for my videos and podcasts. Because when you record with things like uh, the Zoom H1 recorder, I don't know, the lav mic like the AT3350 or a USB mic or any other sort of recording device, the, the audio you get often isn't brilliant and you need to do some post-processing with it just like you would with a still photograph, just like you would with the video itself. And so what you can see here on the screen is basically the audio that I've recorded on the Zoom H1 um, and it's the audio track for a video that I did. And the idea is that once the uh, audio is ready, I will then sync that with the video in Premiere Pro. However, it could just as likely be a podcast or any type of audio recording. Now, if we just zoom in a little bit to it, what you should be able to see at the beginning on the left hand side of the screen, um, there's where I start recording. And there, they're my three clicks that I use to, to help uh, Premiere Pro uh, synchronize the audio. So basically, I just snap my fingers three times and then I leave a pause for about, I try and leave a pause for about 10 seconds and then I actually start the audio. Now the reason why I do this, again the clicks are there to help uh, Premiere Pro sync up the audio and then the gap is so I'm recording some background noise um, and it's you know the hum of the audio recorder because I'm going to use that to um, as my no noise removal example if you like. And if we go through it all looks fairly okay and then we get here in the middle we've got a bit of a spike there's a bit of a click there so i'll be looking to get rid of that that's probably me doing it or something like that and then it looks fairly okay all the way through so it's a pretty clean file um, but what we need to do is as you can see it, it it's not very loud the amplitude is very very low if you look over at the numbers on the left hand side we've got zero and we've got up to one um, this is kind of decibels now one is the point at which the recording would start to clip so if you can imagine if you really shouted into the microphone it would spike up to there and then the mic wouldn't be able to record anything anymore and then it would clip and it would distort and it wouldn't sound very nice so but, but we've got this big gap here so ideally we want to you know fill this space up if we can so that when we play it back either as a podcast or uh, as part of a video it's going to be a lot louder um, you've probably all experienced videos on YouTube or even podcasts where you come to play it and it seems and the audio is just too quiet. You know, you can't turn up the audio on your laptop or your computer or even say something like your iPod enough. It just, you know, you just can't can't uh, do that. And that's because they haven't what we call normalized or amplified the audio. The other thing we can do as well is. We can also apply, um, I guess you'd almost call it like a tone curve um, to, to, the, uh, to the sound to improve it a little bit. Now, I'm no expert with this stuff. I only do some very, very simple things. Um, and also, what I tend to do, there's another uh, step that I take when I'm in, when I'm doing video for a, um, audio for a video sorry that you can also use something called the levelated 2 but what we're going to do today we're just going to concentrate on audacity so let's get started so i've got my, my raw audio if you like and it's recorded in wav at 44,100 hertz um 32-bit float it says yeah i'm sure I recorded the 16-bit so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get rid of any noise so i'm going to select this little tool here and i'm just going to select this big bit of uh, sound if you like there and I'm just going to click on effect and then I'm going to click on noise removal and then I'm just going to click up here it says get noise profile so I click on that so it's got the profile and now I just go to edit move go down to select select all Ooh. let's do that again edit select all there we go and all I do go back to effect now noise removal and then down here I'd say okay now again I'm no expert at this all I do is I have all the sliders in the middle that's all I do and I just have it on remove and I just say okay so it's going to work its way through 
and what we should see in a couple of seconds is this little bit here kind of going all smooth because it would have got rid of that sort of background noise the hum of the preamps inside the recorder normally it's the it's the hum of oliver's my son's xbox upstairs as it kind of hums away so there we go so that will have sort of so if we zoom in a little bit now what we should see is that's a pretty much a straight line now so that'd be nice and quiet um, and it would have helped very very much indeed so the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to let's just go edit select none let's go back here now let's just roll along and let's have a look at this audio just to see where the spikes were because there was that nasty spike wasn't there that we didn't really like there it is see in the middle see that spike there if we do any amplification or um uh, normalization to this particular recording that spike's going to get in the way it's going to stop us amplifying because the way that audacity works is when you apply normalize it will look at the whole track and it will uh, make sure that nothing clips so what i'm going to do if I, if I just play that we might be able to hear it hear that it was me just doing that so what i'm going to do i'm just going to select that little bit there Oop. just that little bit there there we go i'm not going to go into effect go into amplify which is just there and i'm just going to i don't know put it to minus six minus 6.4 there we go dunk and it's gone um so that will make the recording sound better because it kind of gets rid of that that tongue click i've done and it'll also help us when we come to normalize it so let's go along is there anything else that i need to get rid of no big clicks um that might be something there let's just have a look no it's just me talking all right all the way through to the end no, nothing. So that's that seems okay, doesn't it? Now I have got these spikes at the beginning. Um, they're the um, three clicks. In fact, let me play them so you can. Uh, you might be able to hear these. I'm not sure. There we go. They're they're for Premiere Pro, uh, but I'm not going to worry about them. So I'm not going to include those in the section. So let me just zoom out a little bit so we can see the whole of the recording again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to normalize it. So have just give, keep a really good close eye on the waveform. Let me just select. Remember, I'm not selecting. I'm not selecting those three clicks at the beginning. Because if I selected those, Audacity, when it comes to normalize, would limit itself because because of those. Now, see, our peak amplitude is probably about minus 0.5, and we want to go up to um, to one. So here we go. So now we go effect, normalize, and it's set at minus one dB. So anything above minus one dB will clip. So we don't want it clipping because clipping is bad. So we say okay. And just watch that waveform let's see let's see how it changes and how it begins to fill up the recording track afterwards there we go don't see it's got much bigger now if we hadn't um reduced the volume on that that tongue click later it would have been it would have been really been restricted and this will now be much louder this recording and it will sound much much better okay so that's that done there now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select it all again and this is where i apply a, some equalization so go on equalization now the curve that i apply is one i downloaded it's called emi space 78 um which i understand uh, <laughs> there's all these presets you can download and they're mainly i think they're related to um different sort of record companies what how they liked their records to sound and emi 78 apparently is, is quite a good one but what you can see is boosting the lower frequencies and cutting down some of the really high frequencies and that's meant to make, make it sound a little bit better i don't know if i can actually hear any difference and i'm no expert on equalization but i do it anyway because people say you know that's the thing to do and it definitely doesn't do any harm and it only takes a couple of seconds so there we go so that's now done now this track basically that's it if i was recording this for a podcast then i would you know do it like that um if i was recording it for a, um, a video I might give it some more punch but for a podcast that's fine I mean what I would now do for a podcast is I would then chop off the beginning bit and I would add my bumpers and all that sort of stuff so that's done now and I would be happy to put that into a video because I think you know it's more than loud enough but if you really want to give your audio for your videos punch use something called the levelator now or the levelator 2 let me just um, fire it up here we go Here's the level later. It will come up in a sec, hopefully. 
And the levelator is an automatic tool for kind of compressing, compressing and normalizing and amplifying your tracks. Um, in a way that was designed by the Conversations Network, here it is, um, for people who use their podcasts. And it's almost like you've got somebody live on the levels. And to use it, it, it it's simplicity itself. So if you have a look, look at this waveform here that we've got. It's quite full, isn't it? And remember what it looked like before. It was really, really skinny. With the levelator, I can just take my original WAV file, which is here. In fact, I'm going to have to copy it. Um, because um, it's, that file will be in use there. So I've made a copy of it. And all I'm going to do is drop it onto the levelator. And that's going to do its business. It's just working its way through the entire track. So it looks at the entire track and it goes through and does all the kind of uh, adjustments that it thinks thinks needs to do in all automatically. There's no controls with the levelator too. If you want to download it, it's a free download. Just Google Levelator 2 and it will come up and here we go it's almost done about halfway through it's getting to the end and it only works on WAV files by the way it doesn't like mp3 so you've got to convert your mp3s to WAVs which is easy so it come out and there it goes and that's it now so let's open that in Audacity now and let's see what that file looks like there we go just take a couple of seconds just to get there here we go. And look look how full that waveform is straight away without having to do anything. That's how powerful the levelator is. Now, you probably wouldn't really use it like I had done there. What you would probably do is you would take this particular recording and then you would export that uh, as a WAV file and then you would load it into the levelator because really you don't want to be putting stuff into the levelator that's got noise on it. You want to get rid of the noise first. But as you can see, you know, the levelator will put, will pull something out. Now that looks great as a waveform. Um, it's very, very full. Um, there won't be any clipping, but, but it's very, very full. However, what I found is that the levelator works very well for audio for videos, which isn't that, you know, high definition, but Personally, I've used the Levelator 2 on a few of my podcast episodes and I haven't really been happy with the way it sounds. It tends to amplify things that shouldn't be amplified. Um, sort of clips, pops, different sounds in the background, noise and that sort of thing. And so I've stopped using the Levelator 2 for my podcast. I just use, I just go through now and do exactly what I showed you before on this clip where I go through and I manually um, uh, de-amplify if that's what that's the word any pops or clicks that I've put in with poor mouth technique and then I normalize it afterwards and that I find that is a much more natural sound however for my videos where I want lots of punch I want lots of noise uh, in terms of uh, amplification I think the levelator 2 works very very well indeed okay so there we go that's really the end of, of the video all you've really got to remember to do at the end is just file export as a wav and then take into premiere pro or add your bumpers and your titles and everything for your for your podcast um just remember import it into order open it up in audacity do your noise removal manually kind of de-amplify or reduce the volume on any pops or clicks you've put in normalize it to minus one db and then maybe do a little bit of equalization with something like the emi 78 preset and you'll be good to go my name's rob from robnonphoto.com remember if you like the video please subscribe or add a comment down below and uh, hopefully i'll see you again pretty soon